I wanted to talk to you guys about two things today. Um, and the first thing is uh, pet peeves, I think is what they call it. Um, something that really bothers you. And, and it's not it's not something that bothers me so bad uh, that, that I want to kill somebody. <laughs> but it just bothers me to the fact that, um, you know, kind of ticks me off. Um, a friend of mine has took it upon himself to uh, correct me constantly. And not only correct me, but make fun of the way I talk. Uh, because, of course, you know, I have an accent. Everybody knows that. You can see it. Um, and I'm not, I'm not the perfect speaker in the world. But um, he thinks it's funny to make fun of things that I say. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like, if you think your word's through, you'll say I'm right. If you're just talking and you're not paying attention, you'll say them however you normally say them. And, um, you know, we were just talking, I was talking about OS 10 and yes, I put a lot of emphasis on the 10, <laughs> uh, and I do that normally, that's normal. Um, uh, but at one day I called Windows, Windows, which, you know, it's, I normally call it Windows. I mean, that's not a big deal. And he, uh, he thinks it's so funny, but he, he, he kind of, he picks constantly and that bothers me, and I'm sure I know he'll watch this video. And so, um, you know, just to get it out there, that really does bother me. And uh, not to the point where, you know, I'm going to do something about it, but, you know, if it keeps going on, I'm just going to block him. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's basically how it's going to go. I don't tolerate it. That's just, that's how it goes. It's not going to be a, you know, I can brush it off a few times, and I can laugh at it a few times. But if it keeps going on, I'm not going to tolerate it. I don't have to. Um, another thing I was going to tell you guys about was after we went to the AT&T store, and I'll po I'm posting a video about that. Um, I may have to redo the video because um, I decided to show you guys my bill. And it had my account number, my phone number, and my name on it. Um, so that's not something that I want to show the entire YouTube community. Anyway, um, after we went to at and we came home, and um, there were four kids, and I don't know how old they were, like teenagers, I guess, in, a, in, the, la in the laundry room. There was like a public laundry room, you know, here where we live, and uh, they kept beating on something, and the neighbors said they heard money falling, and, uh, you know, long story short, uh, supposedly the cops got called, and I mean, I was in here on the computer the whole time. I had no idea what was going on. And finally someone came told me, it was like, uh, you know, the cops are on their way and there are these kids over there beating the washing machines, trying to get money out of them. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And I'm just like, you're sure the cops have been called? And she's like, yeah. And I'm just like, well, I have a radio right here. <laughs> and I'm 100% sure I have not heard the cops be called. Um, so I called in to the dispatcher and I asked her um, if the cops had been dispatched here. And she's like, no, she hadn't received any calls. And I'm just like, well, you need to get them to step it up and get over here. I said, because uh, the kids are supposedly breaking in the washing machines and they're not, you know, they're, they're still here. The cops get here fast. You guys can get them. Um, anyway, I stepped outside and the, like from the time of, of, like getting up here and walking out this door here, <laughs> um, the cops were here. Um, so it was it was that fast that uh, that they got here. Um, but when I walked outside, the cop was actually pulling in and he was like flooring it. He came around. We have speed bumps all the way around the uh, apartment complex, and he was just like they wasn't even there. Um, but by the time I got outside, the boys had actually already ran. Uh, don't know where they went exactly. Uh, we had ended up finding two of the four, and, um, you know, they got a little talk from the cops, but that's about all that was done. Um, turns out the neighbor that supposedly called the cops uh, knows the boy's grandma, and uh, somehow, I don't know, she didn't call the cops. She wasn't going to do crap about it, so um, that was basically how that went. So... That was my little story for you guys today. Um, I need to start posting more videos, and I'm working on it. Um, my HD camera is dead. The charger's right here next to me. I swear I'm just too lazy to plug it in. That's really all it is. Um, 
not a lot goes on. But I tell you what I will do, I will take it with me Thursday to the AT&T store. How about that? You guys will like that. Um, and then I'll just kind of make a huge unboxing video um, out of it. I'm putting it in the charger right now. <laughs> so you guys can see I'm not screwing up here. I'm not goofing off anymore. Um, people have been asking me, where are you? What have you been doing? Where have you been for the past week? Because I really haven't been anywhere. Um, I've been here on my computer. I haven't uh, been posting YouTube videos. I haven't been talking in social networks. I haven't been on instant messengers. And I have not went outside. Um, and a lot of times I do not answer my phone. Um, there's a game called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And there's a new version called MTA, Multi Theft Auto. And that basically means that it's online. And um, you, can, you can host your own server. You can play on any server you'd like. Um, anyway, it's not really that new. I shouldn't have said new. Anyway, um, that's basically what I've been doing. If you look for a server called Valhalla, once you get it, um, I've, I've been in Valhalla for, for the past week. Uh, I've spent uh, over 40 hours in this game just gaming. Um, if you guys find me, uh, my name is Matthew Ello in the game, E-L-L-O. Kind of run it together with Ello Vision and Matthew Cerna. Um, so if you guys actually do join the game, you can you can you can look for me. But um, you know, today I really didn't go on that much. I got up and uh, my mom was like, you know, debit card's here. You want to go to AT and T? And I'm like, yeah. So we left and went to AT and T, and um, I didn't get home, uh, but like maybe two hours ago. And I may have logged. Yeah, yeah. We got home four hours ago. <laughs> I logged on MTA two hours, and that's all I've done all day. Uh, two hours of that and then I came over here to YouTube and started watching videos and now I'm posting videos and in the future I will cut this video off and oh wait we're already there <laughs> so anyway guys um, cameras charging I will try to get more footage I swear I really need to start making more YouTube videos um, I got to looking at my most recent stuff and any any video that's in HD, I consider a good video. And any video that is not in HD, I consider a dumb vlog. And that's exactly what I call them. So I was looking through the HD list, and there really wasn't many in HD. So um, I'm going to have to definitely start doing more in HD. Um, it's just uh, of what? I don't know. Um, I uh, One more thing before I go. I uh, almost decided, uh, if you guys have watched Sexy Phil, Philip DeFranco, um, he shaved his head on camera. Um, I'm thinking about doing something like that. Uh, and maybe not me shave it, because I'm, I'm a terrible hair person, but have someone shave it on camera. And uh, I don't want to shave bald. I may go like, you know, to one of the shortest, but not completely bald, um, like Philip DeFranco. So, um, it's a thought. Uh, let me know what you think. Because this right here is getting too long. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. And, look, I pull it down to my eyes. Uh, yeah, okay. we got to do something with this, guys. Your opinions matter. Leave it in the comments.